Hey guys, I'm gonna cover two effective sports hernia rehab exercises. I'm Sebastian at Performance Play Sports Care in Costa Mesa, California. We're gonna cover uh, two, at least that a lot of people can use if it's not extremely fresh. If it's extremely fresh, we did do a self-test video where it teaches you how to find a range of motion that's painful and don't do it for a week and then start to integrate it. But as we all know, avoiding those movements for our, uh, the rest of our life is not a good idea. So. Um, everyone has a different place where we're kind of plugging them in and I don't know where you're at But this works for a lot of people and so go, go ahead and go on your back Mary Lou so Probably the first thing to address is that the things that you guys might be doing that makes it worse is we just gonna We're gonna modify the first one Okay, if there really is a sports hernia around here and there's like a fraying of the uh, transversalis fascia we don't necessarily want to put load through it too quickly. Now, if we put load to, through it really quickly, then it might irritate it. But if this is like a two week old type of thing, we can do more of a isometric non-movement contraction to start with versus a, a full, full bore eccentric as well as concentric. But a lot of you tend to do sit-ups. So let's do a couple sit-ups. Okay. So this is probably, yeah, you're like, oh, I haven't done one in years. <laughs> yeah. So we don't recommend sit-ups too often here. So she probably forgot how to do them. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, that's a sit-up. We might not want to do that with people. And so we're going to scale it back, but still make it challenging. Place your hands in a diamond formation and put them right below your lower back as if they were supporting the small of your back, not your tailbone. And so all I want you to do is is try to bring your ribs down into the good. So we're gonna create pressure against your hands and just she's just gonna elevate slightly. And even less, even less, even less. Right there, good. Now hold and breathe. In the nose, out the mouth. In the nose, out the mouth. And then we're gonna give her a break because we don't know her tolerance yet. This might light her up. Was that comfortable? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All of these should be comfortable. They should not hurt in any way, shape or fashion. If they do, you're doing too much or you pick the wrong exercise. Exercise is literally a movement medication. You pick the wrong medication and you treat, uh, shit, what are we treating? Uh, sports what's that? The sports hernia. Uh, no, I, <laughs> I'm thinking about an example. Oh. oh, well, don't pick the wrong movement medication. So let's go back there again. And so we can load her up a little bit more. Let's make that diamond. There you go. In the small of the back, not the tailbone area. So she got the ribs down, come up slight right there, perfect and deep breath. The more you exhale out of a little straw, like she's trying to hit my hand, the better she'll get engagement of all of the abdominal muscles. There's an exercise called the Levitt exercise, which is we're using the breathing principles of this while doing an isometric hold here and go and relax. Usually we have people do this for a couple minutes, minimal breaks, about three to five seconds and re-engage again. Now, if it bothers you to go this high, you can always go lower. Again, you go based upon what you feel. Okay, go and relax. Now, the other thing we do is get the other side, the, the, the big brother of the abdominal wall to help, which is the glutes. Now, you might think, well, the glute med, the glute min, the glute max, which one? Glute max. You get the glute max, you'll get everything. And so the way you're gonna get the glute max is hip extension all the way. Okay, and so we're going to do, yeah, let me do that. Push me up, push me up, push me up, right there. Notice she doesn't have this rib hump happening. Show me the rib hump. Okay, so we don't wanna see this kind of thing because this just further stretches the area. Come on, come on down. And so, good, that downward pressure you learned in the last exercise and then push me up. Good, and all the way down. And let's rep these babies out now. If it doesn't hurt, we can start going through, okay? If I wanted to, I can put a weight on her, such as like a five pound, 10 pound, 20 pound kettlebell, backpack, cat, bunny, whatever. It doesn't matter. But we got to get some load through her hips because we do know that if you load the hips, you'll take a lot of the responsibility away of this area right there. Okay. Again, should this be painful? No. If it hurts all the way through the range, right there, come less, right there. So that's as high as we're going. We're going as high as you can, as long as it doesn't hurt, okay? And these are basic building block exercises. You don't need to do these forever. You should probably do these for about three, four days, and we start to advance them, okay? You advance them, and you should not have to do these forever. 
okay? Like you shouldn't do floor exercises forever for a sports hernia. You should do foot on ground, split squatting, hip hinging, goblet squatting, change of direction, just like general strength condition recommendations, okay? If you want to be like an athlete, you have to train like an athlete to some degree. This is all corrective building block stuff that usually happens over the course of about a month, two months, and but for her, if she's in this state, she's not extremely symptomatic, we might actually start to load her tomorrow, okay? It can happen really quickly. So these are first start exercises. We are gonna have other videos on stretches and diagnosis uh, and other testing that you guys can do too. So go onto the channel, little red button in the corner, subscribe. For the subscribers, there'll be a bar that pops up that says, hey, what do you wanna look for? Search bar, okay? Put in Sports Hernet, you'll find a bunch of the videos that we've already made, okay? If you're looking for direct one-on-one -on -one help, we can help you, okay? We have online as well as in-person services, so just ask, info at p2sportscare.com. We'd love to help you through it. There, there's enough people that have been having this for a long period of time, so stop suffering through this. If you're trying to deal with it on your own, don't try to deal with it on your own anymore, just ask for help, okay? It's cheaper than you thought, um, or than you probably think, and you'll get better quicker than you ever thought possible, okay? Um, but yeah. Looking forward to working with you.